Hey guys, welcome back to another Trinexus video. So you may be familiar with the music that is playing right now. Um, we're gonna dive back into Death and Taxes. That is such a throwback game on my channel. I think I played it back when I still had the Alienware PC, the Digital Storm now. And this is the full game. Like, no demo, no nothing. This is the full game of it, and I want to see if it's the same, if it's better, I'm really excited to play it. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy, because that would be very helpful. Alright, let's click new game, and let's see what goes... happens. I'm going to, uh, turn on my camera. Oh yeah, I forgot it does this. Fate. Keeper of World Order. Some incantations of some type. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice ode to the Beatles. I like that. Market. Oh no. Okay. All right. Incantation. Ah, my Grim Reaper. Okay. Um. Let's go with the classic. Let's go with... Let's go gold. I like that. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. Yes. Finally. The new spawn has awoken. I forgot that there was dialogue in this where the characters actually had, like, voice acting. What a... Uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world, Spawn. I'm so excited to play this again. Hang on. Last time I Spawn played this was... Three, three. Ed, or if you could throw up on the screen uh, when the other video went up, that would be awesome. I'm checking right now, but I don't think I don't think the video is available anymore. I don't think so anyway. Death and taxes T R N X S. I may not be able to find it actually on the channel. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm be able to find it. If you could, editor, please throw up on the screen what day or uh, what the upload date was for when I first did this. I remember doing it because of the fact that I didn't have the audio working and my editing back then was like really bad. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Mm, let's see. Where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, a pleasure to meet you, fate. I don't much care for being just 33. Can I be fate? Um, let's do this one. What am I? Are the Grim Reaper. You are death. That is pretty cool, right? Yes. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision. That's such a weird name for a city. Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes. You're 
death and destruction to all. Choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Yep. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system. And do not Trying to think of a voice that's ideas. like demonic, but not <laughs> like human. too you over see? the top. Right. Yes. <laughs> Clear? Wait, I have to kill people. Uh, let's see. I am not. I mean, yeah, that could work. Wait, I have to kill people? You misunderstand. The people are already in life-threatening situations. I just hope I don't have to do that voice you very often. Although, if I want to, I can make that go a lot lower. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, hmm. creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. Why me? Someone has to. Come Earth. along. I, will I guess show technically you I could go deeper with that, because it's like a sort of, almost like a death, not like super death deaths so like why me or why me almost sort of like i don't know i guess like a breath but has like that sort of dead sort of feel to him i don't know one more thing i might have to work on the voice though day evaluation period when the week is done you will be Assessed. Okay. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Can do. Er, can do. I'll work on. Oh. I have a phone at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through. Cocker? Okay. Sports Corner Conum. Uh, let's see if I can come up with like an announcer voice. Sports Corner Com Mopulus hosting the basketball season final match. Tune in or cheer from the arena for the home crowd. Yeah. I've been trying to kind of work on like some voice acting for videos, not like professional, but just a little bit of variety to the videos. A letter. Ah. Welcome Grim. Here are the files of humans who are in life-threatening situations within your do domain. I am Gr Granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quest for the day. One human has to die. Send me the files by... Facts. Okay. After you have made your decision. Good luck on your first day. Fate. Okay. That should be pretty easy, I'm thinking. Cerebus Den. Feed your soul. Open on weekends. Wonder what's inside. Nothing in there. Alright. Gilligan Van Dolken. Age 50. Position zookeeper. Some say they're Mother Earth Reborn. Some say they're fairy tale Princess. But whatever the truth, Gilligan or Gillian is a zookeeper who gets along fabulously with animals. Birds sing when they're near and talks 
around town says no plant has ever died in Gillian's house. Okay. There's nothing saying that she shouldn't live. She seems like a very nice person. Um, she can live. Yes. Ossip Von Bardere, 24 basketball player Ossip, who started off as a student of sociology, is currently on the path of becoming the highest scoring power forward in local college basketball history. When training, when not training or studying, they often help out in the community. You deserve to live. Both you do. Oh. Oh, wait. Wasn't the... One human has to die. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. The Grim Office. Oh. Oh. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The, the one you may have heard of. Infamous. I love how he talks like a pirate. That's so cool. Um. Hmm. Actually. There we go. Um I tis me, terror of the waves. I might have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Okay. I you're visiting me ultimate dream. The Emporium! Browse that. I love that. I You visiting the ultimate dream. The Emporium. Arg, matey. Eye of Ampu. Ampu got out of, dead, got out of the dead mummification, embalming the afterlife, cemeteries, and tombs, and protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunningly canine visage. Okay, I can't really purchase anything just yet. Back on the elevator. Is that not open right now? No, okay. I need to go up to Faith's office. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Um Yeah, probably this one. Must I remind you what you are? The Grim Reaper. This is your task. You were literally born for it. You cannot let everybody live. I'm not planning on it. It's just they didn't seem to have any reason to die. Even if you cannot foresee them. It didn't look like they had any reason to die.
That is what I am for. Trust me, and I will guide you. Okay. It will be for the benefit of everyone. Um. Nobody deserves to die. Curse. Nobody deserves it, but we do what must be done. It would be a disaster if everybody survived. You're an asshole. The choices will only get. Uh, if I start playing into these roles, I think I'm gonna get stuck the doing the voices. The guidelines. Understood? Yeah, fine. I understand. I have great hopes for you. Do not disappoint me. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, let's go back down to the personal quarters. Yes, end of the day. I don't think we need to talk to him again. I think it's just we need to go to the Grim office. Yep, there we go. All right. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow then and you will be okay. A simple task to balance out the mishap all yesterday. Quota for the day. A human with a info technology background has to die. Try to be careful, fate. Okay. Oh Sports corner. Promising basketball players. Seriously injuries. Knee. Seriously. Wait. Sports coroner. Promising basketball player seriously injures knee in an on-court collision. Hmm. Okay. Bruno is a mercenary. Always ready for, to work for the highest bidder. They're currently stationed at Barden with a government contract providing security services. They act tough and gung-ho to cover up the fact that they haven't been trained to properly act in a combat zone. Mercenary 32. Okay. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of the Parvillar Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist passionate about getting the very best out of the performance. Community manager. Okay. Music dogs drinking. What else can one hope for in life? Olaf is one to enjoy the sweet life of a designer in a prestigious business IT company. They also... Enjoy making five second videos on popular social media platform What What. Oh. Okay, um, you. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Info technology. Info technology, he said? You're a mercenary, though. I feel like you deserve to die. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. It, it's not personal. You just, you're a bad person. Yeah. I hope I didn't screw that up. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Good. Good. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Can I get a vacation? Nope. <laughs> Fuck. Rest well. You will need it. See you.
Um... That's just... that's mean. Doesn't give me no vacation days. Alright. Oh, let's see here. That's that. I think I have a... perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Okay. So I can't get any of that stuff just yet. Grim. Oh. Why are you on that floor? No, I have to go here? Okay. Oh, jeez. Already. Crow's News. Mercenary squad crashes helicopter into a mountain into a mountainside. Three confirmed dead. The Daily Moon. Parents beware. Death metal artists may be trying to summon demons. Fuck. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. That, that's fine. Columbia is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a wall a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columbia is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. I feel like you get to live. I don't know necessarily. Two humans have to die. Okay. Well, he he's alive. Nikesha has never been particularly sporty, but is gaining fame in the axe-throwing community. Their talent for this sport was discovered in rather unfortunate circumstances. When they threw an axe at a sheep thief 20 meters away and it hit, they got out of juvie only a few years ago. Yeah, I'm sorry, but um, you're dead. Because that seems like ulterior motives. Uh, Leo has been in politics for a year. Fucking get out of here. We don't need no goddamn politicians. Grave robber. You're fucking dead as well. Rally driver. Juniper's calm, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Three of you are dying today. I'm sorry, but grave robber? Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Fine, more or less. Good. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. I see you have marked more deaths than was required. I do hope this will not become like a thing where I have to keep reiterating that you have made mistakes and that you should follow the rules to the letter because I really do not feel like doing it every day. Alas, if that is what it takes. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment, which I may have forgotten about earlier. 
Yes, sweet, sweet cash. Do not spend it all in one place. Even though we only have one place to spend it at. Worry not, you will be getting back pay for the missing days. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more Murder than them all. less than necessary, errors in sec- There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Alrighty. Hey, we get 200. Nice. Let's go spend it. 900. Unholy smokes clothing. Looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal. Yes. Bye. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Eh, hey, I don't care. I, a proper beauty. Let's go up here. Undertaker. End the day. How many we got? Five again. Okay. Three humans have to die. Any older humans have to die. Crow News. All survived in plane crash. This due to skillful efforts of the pilot. Crow's News, local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Crow's News, grave robber found dead with a bite mark on their n neck. Spooky. Record number of participants in the Intercontinental Rally Challenge blasting off tomorrow morning. Local... Sepop? The world's... Silliest person still around and kicking. Oldest person still around and kicking. Okay. Uh, 89, 34, 114, 22, 40. So, okay. Any older humans have to die. So... Pretty much you. You gotta die. And so do you. Singer songwriter, you get to live. Homemaker. Ooh, yeah, you gotta go. Sorry, but we we can't have you here. All right. Let's see if we did good. I think we did. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here. Just as requested. Excellent work. Thank you. Although you made an error with my test note, such inattention is not commendable. I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with these small and trivial acts of rebellion. You are mainly just making it more difficult for yourself. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Nice. Alright. Just want to make sure of something, which is that. Okay. Alright. 
I think that's a good spot to end on for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoy, and subscribe so that you don't miss part two of Death and Taxes. See you guys later.